California is crashing the housing market in Texas and it's getting ridiculous. Over 687,000 Californians moved to Texas over the last decade. From 2008 to 2019, over 18,000 companies have moved out of California for states that are easier on taxes. Hint, hint. Texas. Edelman Intelligence has a survey that says over 53% of Californians plan to leave the state. Major companies have already left California like the following. Oracle went to Austin, Texas. HP went to Houston, Texas. Palantir relocated to Denver. We'll give them that one. Charles Schwab Corporation moved to North Texas. And this is just the companies now listen to the big names that have left California. Elon Musk officially leaves Cali and goes to Austin, Texas and takes thousands of workers with him. Joe Rogan also left to Austin, Texas. And as you know, after that $100 million deal he got from Spotify, he didn't know what to do. So he said, hey, let's just pack up and go to Texas. I'm just messing with you. He has an actual reason that I'm going to share with you. We got Drew Houston, the CEO of Dropbox also moving to Austin, Texas. We also have Tim Ferriss, Ben Shapiro, Kanye West, and even Graham Stephan. All of them left California. Now, do you know why Elon Musk left California? His biggest reason to leave California was freedom. Can you imagine living in a state that you don't actually feel freedom? Also, aside from that, when the pandemic got real bad and there were lockdowns and shutdowns, Elon Musk decided he's gonna go open his factory and man, did he get some backfire from some politicians. We have Lorena Gonzalez who made a tweet cursing out Elon Musk whenever he did that. But there's much more behind the scenes on why Elon Musk left, but overall, he wanted more freedom. Now, do you know why Joe Rogan left California? AKA the $100 million man. He said, and I quote, I just want to go somewhere in the center of the country, somewhere it's easier to travel to both places and somewhere where you have a little bit more freedom. More freedom, just like Elon Musk said. He then mentions traffic, economic despair, poverty, too many people on the side of the roads, and most importantly, way overpopulated. Now, when I say overpopulated, guys, California has 39 million people. That's more than the entire country of Canada, which has 37.5 million people. Now, California has the largest US economy and Texas follows right after it. And did I mention when Joe Rogan moved to Austin, Texas, the $100 million deal that he signed with Spotify would have been taxed in California 13.3%, which saves ultimately Joe Rogan $13.3 million by just making that move. Talk about smart tax savings, legally. Now let me give you a little slash quick history lesson on California. Stanford University was founded in 1885, which is what really created the movement for startup companies. It led two grad students to what many consider the first startup in Silicon Valley, which was HP that was founded in 1939 that many of you guys know as your computer or laptops, the tech company. Now Silicon Valley had $65.6 billion in venture capital VC investments in 2019. That was by far, by far the highest VC investment in any state. Now here's a story on San Francisco, San Fran. It is expensive, so expensive beyond means, so expensive that people making over $150,000, you'll see them on the side of the road sleeping in their vans. The median home value in San Francisco is about $1.4 million. Now we're not talking about a nice house like Texas. We're talking about a small condo, something squishy, something you're really not that happy for. Now the average price for renting is $3,500 a month and guess what? You're also getting a one bedroom, one bathroom, and you're not that happy about it either. Running those numbers, if you wanted to hire someone, you need to pay them easily over six figures. In fact, in the high hundreds in order to let them maintain that lifestyle. Now that's a big investment for companies to pay those salaries to be able to have employees. Now in Texas, on the other hand, Texas, Texas, what everybody's hearing, you can literally cut the income in half and that same employee in San Francisco will be living like a king or queen 
in Texas. Now, I'm not telling you guys to come to Texas because I'm a real estate agent and we're having hard times getting properties for our clients. So please, by all means, this is not convincing you. You can go to Florida, you can go to Washington, you can go to Nevada, Las Vegas. There's so many other options. Now, why did entrepreneurs and companies and big tech hubs love Silicon Valley? The environment there was entrepreneurial. The mindset was focused. The people around you all had a vision and big goals. But the problem is the expense is so high over there that living is just not affordable. Now, why are we seeing Texas, Austin, Texas in particular, exploding in the housing market because first Austin Texas has a very large tech hub on top of that it has a very strong startup community and things are looking very good for Austin Texas so people from California from San Francisco they're looking down at Austin Texas saying hmm cheaper to live the same environment why am I over here in San Francisco living like I'm broke when I can go to Austin Texas living like I'm rich now, CNBC measures states on 60 different metrics in 10 key categories of competitiveness. Listen to this. In 2019, Texas, Virginia, and North Carolina took the top three spots. Cali came in the 32nd, and it came in last when it came to the cost of doing business. As we all know, doing business in Cali is not cheap whatsoever. When it comes to tax structure of doing business, the Tax Foundation ranks California at the bottom, with only New Jersey ranking lower. Can you believe California's income tax is 13.3% for the high earners? Joe Rogan's $100 million would have lost $13.3 million because he's clearly as a top earner. So his move to Austin, Texas was a massive save. Now super earners are paying 40% of Cali state tax revenue. So this means can they really afford, can California afford to lose people with big names and a lot of power and a lot of money? I don't think so. And when Elon Musk left, a lot of other wealthy individuals followed. That was a huge hit for the state of California. Studies found that over 1,800 companies left in California in just 2016 going to Texas, followed by Nevada, Arizona, Colorado, Oregon, and Washington. Now, Texas is booming. Over 80,000 Californians moved to Texas in just 2019. Imagine post-pandemic how many actually left California after everything that happened. Me personally, as a real estate agent, I'm having tons of clients coming from California asking me to help them buy property in Texas. Now, the question is, why are people really leaving California? For one, it has high income state taxes. For two, the cost of living is insane. For three, politics is just one-sided. For four, the cost of living in California is 50% higher than the median states. For five, public services are not getting any attention. For six, homelessness, poverty, crime, all of that is a very serious concern. For seven, wildfires, earthquakes, landslides, it's just unpredictable. And for eight, it's so overpopulated. Now the pandemic has caused even more damage to California because everyone's realizing they don't really have to live in Cali to do work in Cali. They're realizing they can work remotely in a cheaper state, pay less fees, less expenses, have more affordability, enjoy life more, but still get the work in California. Now, income taxes is a huge thing in California, and that's why so many big tech companies and big companies in general are leaving California. Just for your knowledge, I'm gonna throw this in there, but there are nine states that don't have income taxes. And here they are. Texas, Florida, Nevada, New Hampshire, South Dakota, Tennessee, Washington, and Wyoming. Now that's just some side knowledge in case you were wondering who has it and who doesn't have it. Now I'll be honest, Texas doesn't have it, but it has high property taxes. For the houses that we live in, we do pay higher property taxes, but at the end, it's still cheaper and still way better and still more affordable. Now, why do people love Texas? It's got tons of space, big land, bigger homes for cheaper prices, affordable homes, most importantly, no income tax, and come on guys, we got horses. I bet if you're from California, you've never even seen a horse. Do you even know what a horse is? Exactly. 
Horses. Who doesn't love horses? Now the question, the one everybody's scared to talk about, the one nobody dares to mention. Will California die out at this pace? Will it lose its edge? Will people continue to leave? Or will they solve their issues? The truth is guys, California has a lot to work on. From their homelessness, to their tax structure, to the poverty, to the affordability, there's a lot that they gotta work on. And if everybody doesn't come hand in hand and really try to pinpoint how to solve these problems, I see California getting burned out. And guess who's probably gonna pay the price? Us Texans. Because everybody's talking about Texas and the affordability of housing. But guess what? Ever since y'all started talking about the affordability of Texas, Things haven't been that affordable lately. The house prices are ridiculous. Just the other day, my client puts in an offer at $55,000 over asking price to end up losing. And I can bet you, I promise you, it was a Californian buyer who came in with cash and just wiped everybody else out. So thank you so much, Californian people, for coming into Texas and making my client get heartbroken and not win that house. Anyways guys, I hope this video made it clear for you on the crisis that we have in Texas for the housing market and why everybody is leaving California with the details and everything that I put into this video. I worked extremely hard on this video guys to get all these stats, so if you enjoyed it, got any value, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, share it with someone that you love. And if you don't love anybody, just share it anyways, who cares? Anyways guys, subscribe, I post three times a week and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, I'm out.